Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Torreon. So, just to recap the map for today, I'm right here in Torreon. Uh, so, so far from the US border, I have made my way all the way down here in Mexico. So today I'll just be following this road for 460 some odd kilometers right into Zacatecas. And uh, I will remain there for a couple of days. So it looks like it's 368 kilometers, not too bad. But first order of business, let's find some breakfast. There was no breakfast at the hotel. Well, continental, it consisted of cornflakes and bananas. Look at this scenery. There's beautiful mountains all around and farmland in the valley. I wasn't, I didn't have my camera running, but I passed uh, right in the city actually on one of the uh, bridges or overpasses or whatever. <clears throat> it was uh, military and they actually had like the sandbag set up and it was a permanent like check stop. Uh, so I've seen a lot of military. I do every time I'm in Mexico and it's, it's pretty normal. I know it would freak a lot of people out to see military patrolling fully armed and whatnot. instances where I'm not sure I trust Google Maps but apparently I'm just around the corner.
Good morning from Zacatecas. It's about 10 a.m. It'll be closer to 10.30. 10.30. Um, just leaving the hotel now. We've got a relatively short day. Let's look at the map. Let's just start by recapping what we've done. This is the route into Mexico thus far to right here in Zacatecas. So today's going to be a reasonably short day. Uh, we're just going, or I guess it's just me, to San Luis Potosi, which is right there. So that's roughly a 200 kilometer ride today. So just spent two days here in Zacatecas and uh, it was lovely. I uh, have a couple of people I know here, Jorge and his family and Aniel, who's actually his nephew. And uh, I, had met, I had met him on a previous trip here just by coincidence. And so yesterday I spent most of the day with Jorge and his family and, and uh, they were showing me around and it's always, it's always nice. A local perspective when you're visiting a city. Yeah, so I'm off today to uh, San Luis Potosi. Looking forward to that and also to the shorter ride today. So if I read that correctly on the back of the bus, it's September 26th is National Day for the Pre Prevention of Embarrassment for Teenagers. There is a picture of a condom there, so that makes sense. Have to put that on our calendar for next September. Okay. Look at this little overpass. Just finished fueling up here before I leave town. And uh, now we're off. 196 kilometers on the, uh, on the Tom Tom. So Zacatecas, another lovely underrated town with kind of a bad rap for this state. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I was hanging around with Jorge and with Aniel. So we went to a couple of like really local restaurants, like I'm talking set up on the sidewalk to pay for restaurants. Got some nice gorditas. And what was the other thing called? I always forget, carnesitas, I think. I'll correct myself later if I got that wrong. Anyway, delicious. Um, we took the cable car here as well, which was a similar setup to uh, what I saw in Torreon. Another day, another military checkpoint. and the cooler temperature, I am feeling a little bit chilled, so pull in here and see if there's somewhere I can warm up for a second. Sure. Well, that might be... 
like the place where we're signs for like a super rest stop type thing. This looks pretty super. Nothing else I can just stretch and walk around this store. It looks like a pretty big store actually. Alright, let's see what they got. So that's a new one. Guardia Civil Estadal. Oh, no, I think I was correct up there. Oh no. So Guardia Civil Estadal, the state civil guard. I haven't seen that anywhere else before, so that's interesting. Why am I turning here? No. Nope. I'm sure the GPS knows better than I do. Again, here you have a situation where you've got traffic separated by a divider going in the same direction, which makes no sense to me. If someone knows why, please tell me. I'm so confused. San Luis Potosi is just such a cool town. Behind me is actually a water reservoir that was built in 1855 to supply water to the underground aqueduct that they had built at that time. Just a beautiful piece of art as well. This city is amazing. There's pedestrian walkways as far as the eye can see and in all directions. And everywhere you look, there's a photo opportunity. There's endless amounts of historic buildings and it's just it, it blew my mind it just blew my mind <laughs> Amen.